Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Today, NVIDIA unveiled their two new graphic cards, beginning with the 4080 and the 4090. The 4080 is going to be available in two models. There's going to be a 16 gigabyte starting at $1199 and a 12 gigabyte version starting at $899. So the price, of course, we would have all anticipated would have gone up since the previous version, but it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty expensive if you ask me. And looking at the 4090, it's going to start out with a base price of $1599, but they're saying it's beyond fast. We'll look at those specs in a minute. But 4080 would be something I would be considering maybe for some mining, and that's what I'm really going to be focusing on taking a look at. See, because there's some specs that make me think maybe this card is actually going to be limited for mining, and I'm going to get into that in a minute. So let's just scroll through and do a quick update. So this is the new Ada Lovelace. And this is going to be a completely new architecture. And apparently there's a lot of improvements with the artificial intelligence. There's better improvements for rendering. There's the DLSS3, which is going to be complete frame re-rendering. Just really a lot of great features and improvements. They even show some benchmarks. And of course, they've probably cherry-picked their benchmarks. I would assume. I don't know to have this card, but they're showing some really significant improvements on some of the things like Flight Simulator, Warhammer, and Cyberpunk. This is comparing a 4080 card, the 16 and the 12 gigabyte version, versus a 3080 Ti, which we know is an extremely fast card. So if they can do this, that would be really epic. I can't wait to get one of my hands on one of these to actually be able to do that testing. This is also gonna be doing some improvements on the ray tracing, and some big, big improvements on the DLSS3 because now they're not going to be doing partial, uh, I guess, rendering or pixel rendering updates. They're actually going to be re-rendering entire frames. So they're saying even here, look at this in example, they're getting 22 frames per second versus 85. That's huge. But, you know, as far as the gaming side of it, it looks fantastic. But how is it really going to stack up with the mining? Well, there's looks really great from the core side and what it's able to do. I believe some of the power consumptions were about 280 was uh, one of them was going to be the wattage and another one was saying about 320. But I guess until I really see that, I won't know. And you can see the specs here, the number of CUDA cores, uh, the boost clock and stuff like that. But what really concerns me was what I've seen that they're not showing so visibly right here. See, when I look at the full specs on this card, I can see that the, both the 16 gigabyte and 12 gigabyte versions listed right here. They have all the specs, but look at this. The memory interface width is only 256 bit and 192 bit. Well, what does that mean for speed wise? That's a huge performance uh, impact for me when I'm mining the coins that are memory intensive. If I'm mining it, there anything from uh, Ethereum Classic or Ergo or things that would require that memory. That's where I found that having that memory speed made a big difference. Well, how much of a difference does it make? Well, if we take a look even at the new super fast 4090 and we scroll down really fast to look at the specs on this one, it shows something very different. If you look at the new super fast 4090 card, it's showing a memory interface width of 384 bit. So, wow, that, that's a huge night and day difference. And if you look at even the, some of the cards that are really great cards, they're not the fastest, but they're extremely good for their efficiency and performance, like the 3070. Let me scroll down on this one, and you see on here, the 3070 Ti and the 3070. The memory interface width is 256 bit for both of them. So, wow, this is kind of really surprising that the 4080 the 12 gigabyte version is actually going to have a slower or a narrower memory interface width than a 3070 card. To me, that kind of really jumped out at me and said, I don't know how well that's going to be performing on any memory intensive algorithms. And if we want to get a gauge too, if we want to look at like a 3080 card. So our typical 3080 cards, let me scroll down. Oh, see, they always have this cool thing. You can compare them side by side. It seems like that's the de facto thing. This is before and after, but... Staying focused on the mining side, but I like to game too, by the way, so that's why I'm just interested in it. But we see too, this is the typical performance we would see, the 3080 and 3080 Ti. Now when I look at the specs on this, wow, what a difference. So my base 10 gigabyte 3080 card has a 320 bit is my memory interface width. 
Now the 12 gigabyte version went up to 384, just like the 3080 Ti is also 384. And that's why too, those cards were able to super excel, especially when I was mining Ethereum, even though we were not able to get a full LHR unlock out of the 1280, uh, out of the 3080 12 gigabyte, it still performs really strong in that sense. The memory was just very fast on it. But I'm kind of really concerned though too about having this 192 bit or 256 bit memory interface with, but I guess time will tell. Now, some of the other cards too, from even the other manufacturers, if I look at one of my favorite cards, and this is gonna be, this is actually two generations old now. It's an AMD, it's the 5700 XT. And that mined uh, a lot of memory intensive stuff very, very fast. That's also using a 256-bit, uh, let me see, it said it somewhere here. Two, yeah, 256-bit is the memory interface. But that's something that's two generations old. I also think by having that 256-bit uh, interface is what slowed down the 6800 XT because I really thought that card would be faster than it did. But unfortunately, too, although it's got a lot of great features to it and GDDR6, so it's not even 6X, but it also had a 256-bit was the memory interface. So I just kind of wanted to share this with you. What are your thoughts? If, you know, currently I'm using my 3080s, I have 300 and 20 bit. I couldn't imagine now going to something that would be memory intensive and going down to 192 bit. That's really a big step down in my opinion. But you know, that about wraps it up for me today. And just my observations too. These cards look pretty and they look like they have a lot of great features, especially when it comes to the chipset and what's going to be on the new Ada Lovelace architecture. But do you think they're going to be in a big uh, limited when it comes to mining, I'd love to know your thoughts. So drop a comment down below. This is just my observations. So that about wraps it up today. So I'd love to know your feedback on this one. So until next time, stay safe. See you on the next video. Happy mining.